Xin chào quý khán giả của đài Sài Gòn Network, tôi là Tom Hoàng. Rất hân hạnh ngày hôm nay trong chương trình hội thoại đặc biệt, tôi mời được một số người uh, sĩ quan của US Navy. Welcome to SGN. Oh, thank you, Tom. Um, I'm Commander Ben Finney from the United States Navy and here in Houston at Navy Recruiting District Houston. Uh, first off, uh, we'd like to thank you for having us on SGN today. We appreciate it. It gives us a chance to talk about the Navy and get a little bit more of our mission out there so our local uh, folks and other around the world get to know what we do and what we can bring to them and how they can join to help us out. First off, though, I'd like to also uh, have my team introduce themselves. Senior Chief Drake. And I am Petty Officer First Class Chris Fahey. I'm the Public Affairs Officer for Navy Recruiting District Houston. And thank you again for having us. Thank you. Obviously, uh, we can tell right away the person with the least uh, words here uh, would be Mr. Drake. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Navy, sir. Um, the Navy is um, an opportunity that we have to serve and protect the, our, our country and uh, the opportunity to see the world as far as um, getting around to other countries to, to promote humanitarian efforts and to um, assist with protecting the United States um, and our interests. Commander. Why join the Navy? Well, I grew up in the Navy family. I started off, um, as I remember, very young in California, as my father was a Naval officer. His brother was also a Naval officer. And uh, you know, I enjoyed moving around when I was young and the experiences it gave me. It gave me a chance to see the world and experience things that I'm not sure that uh, every kid out there got to enjoy. Um, but I didn't initially uh, join the Navy. Out of college, I initially worked for about a year and thought I had a different path, but uh, I think it drew, I was drawn back to it. Um, I always wanted to fly airplanes. Uh, my father, uncle, and brother had all been uh, uh, jet pilots off carriers, and I said, that looks like a lot of fun. Um, something I thought would be great to also do. Uh, and I went in through a different path called Officer Candidate School. And after about 13 weeks in that, I was a Naval officer and off to flight training. So really for me, it was a, I think it was a draw from my family experience and then just uh, something that I knew I had a passion for and that was uh, naval aviation. So you're also a pilot? I am. I flew uh, the E2C Hawkeye which is a uh, carrier early warning aircraft. We do command and control. Tell us about the Blue Angels. Uh, the Blue Angels, they're our uh, Navy flight demonstration team uh, who will be here this weekend uh, at the culmination of our Navy week. Uh, they'll do a tour in the Blue Angels uh, for a couple years and uh, you know so they can go out there and help promote Navy awareness and show you what uh, some of the special capabilities that uh, we bring in the Navy uh, to the world are. And then uh, after that tour, they'll generally uh, head back to uh, operational units and continue on in their professional Naval careers. Senior Chief uh, Drake, tell us about your, your family and the Navy. Okay, um, I'm third generation Navy. Um, my grandfather served in the Navy as a parachute rigger um, and as a Senior Chief Petty Officer. Uh, my father uh, joined the Navy in the 70s and served as a cook uh, for about 24 years. And that gave us the opportunity and gave me the inspiration to continue the family tradition and to serve the Navy um, as a Senior Chief Petty Officer currently. Um, I believe in the Navy, had a lot of great experiences in the Navy growing up, and it's just been something that's been inspirational and has made me proud to continue to serve uh, the United States Navy. Thank you for your service and your family service. My pleasure. Petty, Petty Officer Faye, tell us about your service to do. Um, my background with the military, family background, has been a bit more diverse than Senior Drake. Uh, my mom was in the Army. Uh, my biological father was an infantryman in the Marine Corps. And then my stepfather was a SEER instructor in the Navy, so he taught people how to survive uh, in a POW surrounding. Um, a lot of tradition growing up in my family. Uh, my, father, my grandfather fought in World War II, and then my grandfather on my wife's side also fought in World War II. Um, and before, I never really had the motivation to join the military because I kind of grew up in it. Um, and I, I got into a sales job. I was making great money, but it, it took about a year to realize that um, I, I wasn't going to get the opportunities that, that my grandfather had received, that my father had received. And after a brief talk with him, uh, I realized the Navy had everything that, that not just I wanted, that I needed. Uh, it gave me an avenue for education. It gave me an avenue for leadership. Um, and it gave me an av avenue for maturity, um, which is what I, I really wanted. And the Navy's certainly provided everything that I've wanted and more. I've been in 15 years now, and every day has been a great day for me. 
Commander, we, we, we just heard two stories, but from your experience, what are some of the reasons people join the Navy? I think one of the reasons people uh, join the Navy is for the opportunities. As my colleagues have just stated, uh, their backgrounds from their families shows the different opportunities that are out there in the Navy. Um, it mirrors just about every job out there in society, but it also gives you a, a unique way to experience those opportunities mm -hmm. by also doing it while traveling around the world. Mm -hmm. um, historical opportunities, educational opportunities, um, opportunities to retire after uh, you are in the United States Navy, um, the opportunity to uh, be well-traveled, um, the opportunity to have fi financial uh, stability, um, any, any uh, type of opportunities that you would work a career for in the civilian, in the civilian community, uh, there's an opportunity in the United States Navy. And it provides growth. Uh, when you think about uh, diversity, uh, the Navy's mission is to match the, the diversity found in the civilian workforce. Um, so when I think of my military service, I think of how much I've been able to grow. Um, I've got to visit 33 different countries and I've got to experience those cultures. So I've got to learn about them. I've got to learn about their values and bring those values home to my family. Um, and that's made us a, a very well-rounded, uh, well-educated family. Um, in addition to that, um, there is always, with the Fleet Family Services and some of the different outlets in the Navy, there's always something out there to learn. So for me, the Navy has given me the opportunity to have a family. And I think that's a common misconception that once you join the military, maybe those options don't exist or it can become harder. Uh, for me, it's been the exact opposite. Uh, I've been able to take my family everywhere I go. Um, they've grown with me. Um, we support each other. And because the Navy has those outlets, uh, where we can get uh, separation counseling, where we can get um, if we have a new child, we can get some extra help uh, through the uh, child services on base. Um, and all those different resources on base, uh, it's made it exceptionally easy for me to, to have a family and to, to, love, uh, to love my family and help work through any issues. Commander, uh, Senior Chief Drake mentioned education. My understanding is you joined the Navy or joined any military branches to serve, but where's education for it? Oh, well, education is actually a big part of uh, the military. We encourage education, uh, higher education opportunities. Mm -hmm. To give you a good example from my uh, personal life is I joined the Navy uh, out of after I, being at the University of Texas mm -hmm. um, and like I said before I went through officer candidate school that's one accession program but my education didn't stop with what I had done in my civilian life. The Navy later sent me to postgraduate school in Monterey, California where I got my master's degree. There are many opportunities for any sailor of any rank to get education. Uh, everything from tuition assistance mm -hmm. to uh, options of uh, going through multiple programs for uh, education on and off duty. Continued education is important in uh, the development and growth of all sailors and officers. And I think uh, as a whole makes us a stronger Navy, makes us a more accurate and intelligent Navy. Uh, and it gives um, the Navy the opportunity to uh, use us strategically and to make the Navy stronger as a whole. Senior Chief Drake, you uh, mentioned that you're third generation yes. Navy. Yes. Uh, what effect has it had on your life uh, uh, as a person or as a mm -hmm. family man? What, what have you seen in your, your grandparents or, grand, mm -hmm. or your father that made mm -hmm. you stay with the Navy? Um, you, one thing I really learned and I w really was able to gain was, um, I, I believe, the right perspective um, as, a, as a U.S. citizen um, and being able to take ownership of the country um, as a citizen and to see that it takes work. It took work to build America. And the, the service members in the United States military and the United States Navy uh, continue to serve to help to build America. Um, and my grandfather before me, my father before me, um, put in that hard work to continue to uh, make the United States a, a, a stronger country, a better place to live and to be. I appreciate that opportunity and I feel like it is my duty to pay it forward, to continue to serve and to currently provide Navy opportunities to those in the community to have the opportunity to serve and, and protect the United States by joining the United States Navy. And I love that concept, making the success of our country uh, our personal responsibility, taking a proactive step in ensuring the freedoms that have uh, been granted to us by our forefathers. I just, being a part of that history and a part of that future success uh, can add a, a great deal of value to, to your life, and it certainly has mine. 
Commander, how has the Navy affected your life? Oh, the Navy has had a very positive effect on my life. I joined the Navy, not really sure what path it was going to lead me down, but really um, it's provided me a lot of opportunity to become successful and get where I am and gave me a, a direction um, when I was truly looking for it. Um, the other opportunities it gave me, it taught me or gave me the chance to uh, explore my passion of flying. Um, but beyond that, what you learn through that is leadership, and you start to develop into a better leader, and then you can give back to others who may want to do the same type of uh, thing that you did or have those same experiences. Beyond that, I think it shaped me uh, personally by allowing me to live in different places in the world. For example, I first lived in Japan for my first tour. Later, I was able to live in Germany. So I've lived in multiple places in the world, and I think uh, my colleagues would agree that some of those best tours uh, that we have uh, been able to experience have been those overseas tours because there's something different. They allow us to grow. Senior Chief? Um, I believe the Navy's uh, a great opportunity for anybody who would want to um, develop themselves and expand their life. Um, being able to travel and see the world, as Commander stated, um, gives you an opportunity to just have a wider view of what the world is. And more importantly, um, I believe the Navy gives you the opportunity to serve and be a part of something bigger than yourself, um, which gives you that total team um, aspect and concept that allows you to continue to be successful in whatever professional uh, walk of life should you leave the Navy after that point. Um, so I believe the Navy is just a, a total positive experience that allows you to grow. And that growth is for everybody. It's not just a 19-year-old kid, 18-year-old mm -hmm. kid coming out of high school, but it's for, um, for me personally, I didn't have any, any personal direction. A lot of potential, a lot of motivation, uh, but I simply didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So the Navy gave me that direction. Uh, but for those individuals who do know what they want to do, the Navy has a home for them. Um, if for those people that want a college education and want to lead, we have ready-made positions for that, and we want those people. Um, so growth is a big part of it. But many people don't ask the questions, and that's what we want to encourage. Mm -hmm. You know, if, 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 if you have any questions about Naval Service, please go to Navy.com and check out the rates and ratings. Mm -hmm. Call us at 1-800-USA-NAVY, and if you're from the Houston area, you can call us directly at 1-800-853-6600 or email us at jobs underscore Houston at Navy.mil. And of course, on Facebook, uh, Navy Recruiting District Houston on Facebook, and then the U.S. Navy is on Facebook as well. So uh, you can reach out to one of us directly or talk to, to an executive at the U.S. Navy to really find out what we can do for you. And one thing I promise is that we can do anything for you. If you have a particular challenge or have a goal, we can help you meet that goal and we can give you that challenge. I'd like to just add to that that it's, uh, if you call one of our recruiters and speak to them, they will guide you down that path. This is, a, uh, this is not an application process on your own. We'll guide you and it gets you into the right career field uh, for your specific needs or desires. So please, uh, don't hesitate. You can call us anytime uh, just for questions or uh, better yet, we can get you down to a recruiting station and have uh, one of our professional recruiters uh, speak with you about a career in the Navy. Sometimes maybe that's not a career in the Navy. Sometimes those questions don't lead to joining the Navy and you can count on us to be transparent about that to help guide you in the, in the direction that best fits your needs. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for your time. Thank you Thank for you. your service. My pleasure. Thank you. 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 Thank